Hi guys! Today I got some really really nice takedowns that we're going to check out. We're also going to look into a topic that usually people look past by, and that's takedown retention. What to do when the opponent stands up in our close guard, and of course submission and some nice transitions. The match starts standing and your opponent goes straight for the takedowns. This is a variation of the sacrifice throw, but what really impresses me in this situation is your takedown retentions. Check out this landing, how you always keep your knees underneath your body, and then you're quickly up again. This is something we will see through this video, how you, over and over, retain takedowns and sweeps. You are up to your feet again, and you are going for two takedown attempts. And you are going for similar leg trips, as Owen Livesey did go for in Quintet, when he took down Nicky Rod. So what I would like to see you do, is put your opponent back on his back leg, then you want to push his shoulder back while you're sweeping his foot in the other direction. And if you're going to chain your takedowns, like with all techniques, I would like you to focus on the last part of the chain. And that goes for submissions, takedowns and everything. In your mind, do the first technique okay, but focus on the later part of the chain to catch them off guard. And for this takedown, we can just sit back and watch the beauty of this. It's so amazing to see how you pull this takedown off. Very beauty technique. And when the opponent lands, you do the right thing by pulling your arm away from the opponent so you don't get armbarred. And after that, there is some scrambles where he tries to retain his guard and you try to pass to his side. And after some time, you land in his side control. What I would like you to do there is actually to get more control over his elbow that you already have catched. So I would like you to force your knee underneath his shoulder and clamp it down with your elbow so it can't move out at all. This is the first match of two and you finish this one with a nice paper cut shook. In the finals we can see your opponent snapping you down and you do the same retention again. You focus on keeping your knees underneath you to get up as soon as possible again and that's very good. And in this match you're jumping guard. But as soon as the opponent stands up and you hook his leg, you also want to grab his arm as you are doing. And as soon as your legs is opening up, you are rolling backwards. And that's bringing your opponent with him as his arm is stuck with you. This turns into a scramble and if we check the details, it looks like the opponent's arm is free here and he is spinning for your back. Instead I think he should have gone for the darts choke in this situation, but that's just my preference. But as we can see, this scramble starts by you being in guard and finally getting on top. So you are getting a sweep here and that grabs you two points. So now you're on top and your opponent has his knee shield placed in. The first thing I would like you to focus on is always keeping your head above your knees. Since if you overcommit forward, he will pull you even closer and try to sweep you. And if you have your head further back, he will push you back and step up. I like to destroy the knee shield by pulling my opponent to the center again, so he isn't on his side in side control. Then I will place my elbow and knee together and go back again so he is on his side. Now I have placed a wall to block his knee shield, so I have the inside position in his half guard. That makes the knee slide a lot easier to accomplish. And here you have a manage to pass the knee shield, but I think you are a little bit eager to get into mount. I would continue to move to the side control instead. We saw your takedown retention. And here we can see the similar sweep retention as well. You keep your knees underneath your hips at all times. You don't stick to the opponent and you don't fall to the side. And this make your sweep and takedown retentions very very impressive. Good job. And you are pulling guard again. And we can see the history repeats itself. He is trying to stand up. You catch his leg and his arm and rolls back. In this situation though, he manages to pull his arm out so he lands in side control but you are very quick to act and push him over yourself. And you need to do this immediately since if you wait, he will manage to secure the side control and finally you land in his guard. And for all people out there that struggle to remove the opponent's grips, here we can see what the opponent does. He goes for a figure four connection and pulls the arm away and that's very effective. That's how you should do it as well. Your opponent goes to the knee shield again and this is his way of trying to sweep you so I would recommend you to break his grips as soon as possible. But this is the danger zone. You are ahead with two points, but if he manages to sweep you, your match is in danger. 
and he goes for the sweep. But again, we can see you do the perfect sweep retention again. You keep the hips underneath you and do a very nice sweep retention. Perfect job. And in the end of the match, when both of you are standing up, you are again doing the perfect strategy by pulling guard, since if the opponent would manage to take you down in the last seconds, your match would be at risk. Now you're making it a lot harder for him to pass your guard than to just take you down. You managed to win the match on points, and you did a very good match in general. Good job, and thanks a lot for sending me this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. I see you in the next video.